Hey guys, welcome back to part three of two support, two to three support ideas for every deck that we know of. And making sure it has to do with the theme of the deck, you know, it's like something, you know, that helps the deck, but also, you know, fits in really well. <laughs> Not just throwing a negate everywhere, even though I think the last, unless they really deserve it and they have no other way. But we'll see, we'll see, we'll see what we do. We see what we will do. And I have decided, oh, and uh, I've been really enjoying these. I really hope that you guys enjoy them too. Like, I have so much fun making them. And, like, when I was making the cards and stuff, like, on the card editor thing, it's really cool. It's really cool. And shout out to all the artists that I used for it. And make sure you check them out as well. So now, yeah, now here's part three. And a couple things we're going to do. We're going to change it to four because maybe the videos are too long. We're gonna change it to four, and I, I can't waste time like this because you know, blah, 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 the video's too long. So, we're gonna change it to four every time instead of five, and it could lead to more parts, make it a real series, you know. We do know a lot of decks, we know a lot of decks. And then, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna try to name all of them. Name all the cards, get if they're monsters, give them attacks and defense, you know, just to, you know, really settle it in. And again, like if the actual effect or, uh, yeah, effect or card is like, you know, isn't worded right with the way Yu-Gi-Oh would word them or you know isn't like some things aren't spelled right or grammar mistakes or oh this letter's supposed to be capital and this I don't know if any of that happens please just take it easy all right it's just to give an idea it's not really like oh we're making this card it's official <laughs> unless hey Konami if you want me to make you an official card I'll word it the way I'll word it any way you guys want me to it's how we can support these lower tier decks right guys hey 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 but um yeah so let's just get started like is that everything is that everything did we go through everything it's gonna be four cards per video now um we're gonna use art name we're gonna name them well oh i'm not gonna name them in this video because i won't be able to think of names like that and it might also depend on the art i use but so yeah well, it, the name will pop up when the card pops up and that's how you guys will know okay let's get started all right so we got cyber angels here Varash is cool and all, but I feel like they need a real boss monster. Again, maybe I'm just using her wrong, but they need like some kind of boss monster. You know, she has a negate too, but the negate is um, yeah. And then like her other effect is basically useless. What's her negate? You can shuffle one original monster from card or effect is activated. I mean, okay, but like Natasha's banishing them anyway, right? So, okay, 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 hold up. Got the brain juice f cooking. <laughs> Is that a saying? All right, so yeah, I'm gonna make a real boss monster. Vrash and Dakini could be secondary, but this boss monster is gonna have more attack than both of them at 3,500. I don't really need to go over the attacks, because again, they'll just have them. Or the name, but you know, it'll be a level 10. Level 10. Maybe level 12? Actually, no, no, no. Level 10 is already hard enough to bring out. I, I can't think of it like that. It's rituals. So maybe level 8 or 10. Maybe level 8 or 10. I said 10. I meant 12 earlier. Um, So yeah, a level 8 or 10 ritual monster. That's like once it's ritual summoned, you can add one Cyber Angel card. Yep, any card from your deck to your hand. Boom. Already great boss monster. Now let's give it a quick effect. That quick effect is to tribute, if we can do that, if not just send one Cyber Angel monster from your deck to your graveyard to pop one card on the field. Obviously it's gonna probably have the once per turns, I might add it in the card or not, but you guys know that, right? Hard once per turns all around, okay? <laughs> I think that's good. Uh, sending, a, sending a Cyber Angel ritual to the graveyard could help Vrash, could help Natasha. And if it's a tribute, it makes Benton good again in this deck, for the most part. I like it, I like it. I think that's a good boss monster, and it'll be strong in attack-wise too. Okay, 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 let's see. Hmm, yep, might, 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 might. Might do three for this one, they need it. Alright, a level six. A level six ritual monster, again another one. They're gonna have a Dakini Benton type. And it's gonna be, if this card is ritual summoned, using... Wait, <coughs> sorry. If this card is ritual summoned using a cyber angel monster as material, you just simply draw one card. That's it. Now, 
and now I might give it the sunny effect where so once it so you could use these guys to ritual summon this monster and boom you get a free draw you're already wasting three cards to make it so drawing one is fine and then if that card that was ritual summoned is in the graveyard would it be too strong I don't know either it gets ritual summoned or not but if it's in the graveyard you send one monster on the field to the graveyard you know other than besides the turn that def, you know that effect that says other than how do they say it besides the turn the turn they are you can <laughs> I don't know how to word it <laughs> I don't know how to word it except the turn that this card was sent to the graveyard send one card on the field to the graveyard <laughs> that was so hard to do okay but wait i came up with like you know they got these little egg things here they got a level twos they got level two eggs so how about a level one egg that sim that you know can help out more this one adds a cyber angel monster this one adds a machine angel spell so how about one that does everything and it special summons a level one egg that says if you control no monsters this card from your hand uh, to summon this card from your hand if this card is normal or special summoned you can add one cyber angel card or one card that mentions cyber angel from your deck or graveyard to your hand boom boom so that way we can implement ritual sanctuary and uh and other stuff oh and we can add Benton back to the hand maybe Unless, you know, Natasha banishes them. But I like that, I like that. Right, so boom, that's three cards for Cyber Angels down. Let's see what else we could do. Oh man, alright, alright. I know the next two we're gonna do. I know the next two we're gonna do. Let's do Majestus. Alright, let's see, let's see. Okay, I got it. I don't I don't know if I don't know if they do have it or not, but let's see. Like Crowley is Alistair, right? Zoroa has the Synchro, where, oh, that's the one we're looking at. Riliona has um, the Witchcrafter. Adamian has his whole archetype. Uh, but we don't see Artemis <laughs> as a normal monster. So Artemis as a regular monster. Uh, look, I already know what the art's going to be. Level 4, light, whatever. The attack is probably going to be the same as her attack. Maybe the defense will be the same too. And then I think her effect is that um, you could just discard her to add one Magistus card from your deck to your hand. And I, already that helps them a lot because they're only searchers or the ones you normal summon. So a non-summon search is good for them. Okay. Could also be Ash Blossom Blate. Blate? Bait. And then maybe... And then I think she gets the effect that Adimian and uh, Riliona gets. Is it Adimian? No, it's Crowley. Yeah, it's Crowley and Riliona. The one that, that one right there. You can banish this card from your, damn it. <laughs> you can banish this card from your grave and target one Magistus monster. You can show equip it with a Magistus monster. Yeah. And that makes sense to have it on Artemis since the Link summon basically does that. So that's, well, for herself. And Artemis could use it for herself, her Link counterpart. <laughs> so yeah, she, all right. So she'll have that effect, and then yeah, a non-summon search could be very helpful in the Magistus deck. All right, let's see, let's see. I think this is cool. Something like the Urgy, but it's gonna be an equip spell, a regular equip spell, and you can equip it to any Magistus monster. Then treat that equip spell. Sorry, treat that equip spell as any Magistus monster that you currently have in your extra deck. So like, if you already have Iwas on the field, then you can't have that, if you can't have that card, copy another Iwas. You would need another Iwas in your extra deck to use it. I like it, I think that's cool. And as of right now, I can't come up with a third. But hey, maybe if we finish the series, maybe I go back to these older decks and fill in a third or fourth slot, that would be crazy. I don't know how I'd be able to do that, but if you guys want it, let me know. That's all I ask. All right. So, yeah, I think I'm only coming up with those two for now. Let's move on. <sighs> I'm looking at Junk Warrior right now. I'm looking at Junk Warrior right now. I'm like, damn, this card is so cool. I wish it was more valuable. Okay, okay. I thought I thought they were going to show me all the synchros, but they're just showing me this. I mean, Scrap Fist is all right. Hmm. 
Yeah, just junk support. Let's see, let's see. Okay, the main thing about my synchro decks is that I don't really have a good level 6. Because Stardust the Soul Warrior level 6 is there and like, you can't really really use him because he's never going to be the only monster out. So, at least in mine, I don't have a level 6 synchro. Man, making a synchro card would be cool. So, let me see. So, uh, am I thinking I'll... A level 6 version of Junk War- Oh my gosh, sorry, I hit the mic. A level 6 version of Junk Warrior? Is that what we're thinking? I got it. I got it. It's, uh, <clears throat> uh, what is it? It's jet Speeder? Junk Speeder? Is it? Is it a Junk card? Now I really want to check, but I don't got the time to check. Jet, uh, the Speeder, level 5, the one that summons all of them. All the tuners, all the different level synchrons. It's something speeder, jet speeder, junk speeder, synchron speeder. <laughs> it's one of those. I can't believe I forgot the name. You know what? I'm sorry. We got to find it. It's bothering me now. Why would it be here? No, it has to be Stardust speeder. No, no, it's not. It has to be somewhere. I could just go to the deck, right? I could just go. I don't know why I'm doing all this. Ah, uh, fine, fine, fine. What is your name? Junk it is Junk Speeder. Damn it. Okay, so Junk Speeder is basically the go-to that you want. Like I said, look, no real good. Oh, Charge Warrior. But even then, you're able to make another level 6 after. Because there's a lot of level 2s and 4s, so it's easy to make a level 6. So I'm thinking a level 6 tuner. Not tuner, synchro. Since Junk Speeder is the go-to. All right. Yep, let's just make it simple. A level 6 Synchron Monster that says if you Synchro Summon this monster, you can Special Summon one Junk or Warrior Synchro Monster from your extra deck. It counts as a Synchro Summon. Maybe... Maybe that's overpowered. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay, fine. It has to be a lower level. One level six or lower junk or warrior six because there's nothing crazy right like you could summon charge warrior off that yeah one level six or lower junk or warrior synchro monster and then guess what you can lower this card's level by the level of the monster you summoned oh so ah, ah. that's why it's level six or lower makes sense Wait, but you can't have a level 0 monster on the field. Never mind, it is 5 or lower. I could make the monster level 7, but you have other level 7s you can go to. Level 6, Synchro. When you summon it, you lower its level. So if you summon Junk Warrior, its level goes down to 1. And it and that boosts Junk Warrior. I like it, I like it, I like that. I think that's pretty cool, right? Let me know if you agree. Let me know your ideas. Remember... We could come up with these ideas together. They'll be so cool and creative. Let's just get creative together. <laughs> that sounds kind of crazy. All right, let's see what we got next. Since I'm already here, I might as well look around. I'll let you guys know. Oh my gosh, I just keep, keep I, I just keep thinking of effects to help Junk Warrior. But it, this this effect does not just help Junk Warrior. I got it's it's simple. It's simple. It's a spell card, and it just says choose or select or target whatever one Junk. Or warrior monster you control and it could be a synchro too so it could lead into the blazar stardust things to choose one junker warrior monster you control and make it level two it helps junk warrior and it can help your synchro plays because synchros you know do a lot with numbers okay 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 I think that's good I think that's good I think that's really good all right let's see what we ended on okay all right I know we said we were only doing four so we're gonna do strictly zombies not shira nui but maybe we could come up with a zombie that helps them too but i think we're just gonna make zombie Baldurach, doom king support just zombies and hopefully not let it be cards that help eldlich oh it's gonna be tough it's gonna be tough let's see let's see all right so since most zombies like to be in the graveyard including banshee and gloom how about just a level one like gloom it could be a tuner or not. I mean, Gloom being a tuner doesn't really do anything. No one uses them for that. But a zombie like Gloom, but it, but a Gloom for your hand, basically. That says, um, you can discard the card, the zombie, 
to just send the top eight eight cards from your deck to the graveyard and then if if we want because eight cards is a lot if we want we can add the restriction that says um you can only special summon zombies the turn you activate that card that effect right yes, you can only summon zombies um and it'll be mostly doom king and stuff you know and no then the shira newies yeah you won't be able to summon your um whatever what uh, what other what what <laughs> any other uh decks that would use throwaway stuff so it's a throwaway card specifically for zombies i like it i like it i like it all right sometimes you use your normal summon this can also help the shira newies as well i'm thinking a level one link monster not level one link one monster by using a level four or lower zombie and if that card is link summoned you just send one zombie monster from your deck to your graveyard it will help the consistency if you can't get yuna zombie out or shira nui or i mean solitaire you just you can summon your banshee link it away into that level that link one monster she's in the graveyard you get zombie world and you use that monster's effect to send glue it helps the consistency you're able to bring out doom king much easier you could go into your plays much easier i like it i like it <laughs> i like it and that's the video let me know if you guys enjoyed it would really mean a lot if you can like this video so we could get the series rolling the faster you guys like this video the faster these videos come out and i yep and i have nothing else to say i really hope you enjoyed and i really hope you enjoy the rest of your day have a good one y'all peace